All right. Assassin. It says green, so. What? Iron Man. Tell us if we're live, Turtle. Let us know. It says green. We must be live. Mm, doesn't say live yet. Mm. I got the email. refresh page. Okay, then we must be going live. Assassin, do you see us? Still says all the time for me. Damn it. Why? The tweet went out. <laughs> Crayola. <laughs> The tweet, the email went out, so we must be, we must be live. Uh, not for me. I'm seeing offline. I am too. Let me try on my tablet. Yep. Up, oh, nope. There we go. We're going live now. Uh, yeah. And the Twitter just sent it out like a minute ago. What? It says offline again. It like started loading, and then okay, there it goes. It's going live now. It just went live. It's live, right? Okay. Yeah. All right, let's run the intro video then, all right? Here we go. Welcome to the Four Guys with Quarters show. With your hosts Inferno, Assassin, and Clowns. And welcome everyone to the Four Guys Recorders podcast, episode 33, March 13th, 2015. As usual, I'm Inferno 217, and we've got the usual cast of characters here with us this fine Friday evening. I know there's a change in the schedule, sorry about that. I thought my basketball season was over, but got the phone call, Superman had to change real quick and get into action, you know how it is. <laughs> all right, we've got uh, Clowns all the way on the left, what's up Clowns? Hey, what's going on? We've got uh, Turtle. Hi. And we've got ZPCI Assassin. Hello. Looking ever so glorious again today. For those watching the video version or watching the stream. Where is uh, your special guest? Oh, it's Sassy the Giraffe again. It's not the. Uh, it's not the. Um, the cat this time. So for those who are new to the stream, welcome. Um, I know some of you may be here for um, a little special thing we've got going on. It may be that Smite Alpha giveaway, right? So Smite Battleground of the Gra of the Gods on Xbox One. We are giving away three Alpha codes tonight. If you want to get in the giveaway, uh, let me open it up. All right, it's open. Just type exclamation point raffle in the chat and you will get in the giveaway for one of the codes. We'll draw them over the course of the night, and uh, I will send you the code right after the show is over. So welcome, and uh, thanks for coming by. Um, so tonight we're going to talk a little bit about um, PAX East 2015, which I went to and did a bunch of interviews with developers and stuff. So I'm slowly but surely getting those up on our uh, YouTube channel. We're also going to talk about GTA Heists. We'll talk about some hardline, Battlefield hardline stuff, some Smite, and just the general news of the past week, including some Mortal Kombat X news, and um, maybe a little bit of Titanfall stuff. Who knows? But we will start with what we always start with, our press start feature which we uh, use to just go over the games we've been playing over the past week or so, maybe give like a sentence or two about where we are in the game or something like that. So um, let's go to the person who's been playing the most games this week, I presume. Assassin, what have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing a lot of uh, Forza Horizon 2, um, a smite here and there, and that's basically it. No, no, no. Yeah. No, we've been playing some GTA. Oh yeah, GTA. If that when that when and after it works. That's true. Yeah, we'll talk about that a little later on the show. Heist, uh, I've been hit very hit or miss. For most people. So, but uh, yeah, we've been trying that. Uh, Turtle, what have you been playing? 
Um, I've been playing a lot of let's see, what is it? Zombie Army trilogy. Oh, cool. oh, Assassin, you haven't played any of that either. Oh or? yeah, yeah, I forgot. Oh, you have? Oh, okay. <laughs> Just making sure. All yeah, right, so what uh, else have you been playing? Also, I've been playing some Battlefield Hardline through EA Access. And. So what else? Oh, yeah, Ori and the Blind Forest. Yes, yes, we'll talk about that a little later in the show, but. Not to spoil it for anyone, but some of us on the panel think that is potentially the game of the year, or the front runner as of right now, so we'll discuss that a little later in the show. But uh, anything else you've been playing, Tom? Mm, that's about it. Oh yeah, GTA heist. GTA, right? Yep. We we've all been trying the GTA thing. A few of us have some luck. A few of us haven't, but we'll save that for later in the show. Thank you, sir. Clowns, what have you been playing? Uh, just zombie army trilogy, pretty much, and uh, hardline. I started Skyrim again, or uh, Skyrim. I mean Minecraft Skyrim today. Nice, yeah, dude. I I want to get back into Minecraft. We should get back into Minecraft. Yep. We should, we should, I want to say, well, I mean, look, what? Assassin just blows up people's farms, you know, soon. Okay. They block them off. Creeper. Creeper blew up farms. No, dude, that was Me crazy. was the victim of the creeper attack. I think that's I what, like, I think that's why we stopped playing, don't you clowns? I mean, we weren't really over it. And I had like, what, 60 animals in there? Yes. Hey, no. Yeah. I put more animals in your farm than there were you ate them before. After you blew them up. You ate them all. Anyway. I used them for carpet. Yeah, see? So you did. You, <laughs> yeah, you used them. You blew them up, dude. Don't even lie. No, creeper. Um, creeper. What have I been playing? I haven't been playing really much. I played stuff at PAX East, but I don't think that really counts. Um, b played a bunch of games there. Too many to name. Um, and I've been playing a little bit of COD, Advanced Warfare, surprisingly, which I was going to trade in a week ago, and I'm probably going to trade in very soon. The game is just very bad, and Hardline's coming out soon, and I have that 10-hour trial for EA Access, which we will talk about later on the show. Um, what else have I been playing, guys? Anything? A little bit of Trivial Pursuit with my girlfriend. Um, and I think that's about it. That's about it. Um, before we move on to the PAX East stuff, um, we wanted to get into a little bit of Shiflings, apparently. So Shiflings came out a couple weeks ago. We talked about it a little bit in the show last week, but, um, we're going to have a review up on the site pretty soon about it, so we wanted to just give it another fair shake really quick. So, um, Assassin and Clowns are playing a little bit of it, so you guys want to just give your, your impressions really quick? About shiflings. Uh, I can see Assassin is thinking things to say here, but no, uh, shiflings is a, a neat puzzle platformer. It's very frustrating at times. Um, it's basically the concept is you're two uh, smirky alien type things, and something goes on with the game show, and you drink some type of soda pop, and you just transfer gas back and forth to complete puzzles. Um, it's very cartoonish. Is that really very, it? Yep. Uh, it's the concept of the game. Yep. Wow. <laughs> wow. How much is this again? Fourteen ninety nine. This came out like less than two weeks ago. Um. Are you guys? How far are you guys into the game? Not very far. Uh, well, let's just say there's fifty plus levels. Oh wow! Way more than I expected. No. So yeah, I mean, we got shiflings. We'll be playing it some more and uh, and do a proper review up on the site. But we just wanted to wanted to throw it up there and mention it. Cl Turtle, have you been playing shiflings at all? Do you have shiflings? Uh, I've played a little bit of it, but not a lot. Just like maybe the first few levels. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So, just wanted to mention that we've got it. We're gonna do a review of it. So if you're interested in the game, uh, check out our site fourguysrecorders.com in the near future for a review on. Shiflings, and um, yeah, it kind of got lost in translation last week, so we didn't really give it the attention it deserved, so we thought we'd come back to it. All right, so last weekend was PAX East 2015, 
And at PAX East, there were a ton of games, obviously. Um, it really... I gotta say, the indie scene is getting more popular than I ever thought it was gonna get. And that was proof at PAX East. PAX East was literally 50% indies and 50% mainstream, I would say. Mainstream retail, big developer games. Um, so, the lines were crazy at the big games, which is insane. So, Assassin wanted me to get some pictures and maybe some video of Elite Dangerous, which is like his favorite game of all time, all of a sudden. I'd never heard of it until a couple of weeks ago when Assassin was like, oh, Elite Dangerous is coming. Elite Dangerous is coming. I'm like, what the hell is Elite <laughs> Dangerous, right? I go to PAX East. The lines are ridiculous. They're like over an hour and 20 minutes long the whole time. I'm like, I'm not going to go stand in line for that nonsense. Um, I mean, it looked really cool. They had it on PC, not Xbox One. So it's supposed to become an Xbox One. They had it on PC. Um... Also, what else was there that had ridiculous lines? Gigantic, which is that MOBA that was just announced um, for Xbox One in Windows 10. If you played it, you got a t-shirt, which I tried to get from one of these guys, but I stood in line for like 20 minutes, and I'm like, I can't do this. It's just not going to happen. It's not going to work out. Um, do you guys know what Gigantic is on the panel? Uh, I've heard you mention it a few times, but... Other than that, you don't know. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's cool. It's it's um it's like a bat. It, you know, it's a battle arena, but the maps look awesome. The artwork is very cool. It's very um it's cartoony kind of artwork and animation. It's it's awesome. It looks very good. I'm looking forward to it, but I couldn't stand there and wait for you know a sixth of the show time on a day. It's just a wait to play that, so I didn't. Um, other huge lines there for big games, Smite, which is in alpha now, as you guys know, we're giving away a code, so that was a waste to wait in line for that. Um, they had Halo 5 there, which I thought was pretty cool, but I didn't play that. And, um, Oculus Rift, apparently everyone wants to play virtual reality. I'm not, in, I'm not into virtual reality, I, what do you guys think about Oculus and stuff like that? Are you guys gonna, gonna buy into that? Fail. Right? That's what I That's think, what I too. Think. I'm not too into it. I'm not too into it. But everyone wanted to get their hands on it, dude. It, the lines were like two hours long the whole time. Both I mean, I really want to try it. Like, at least just once. Just give it a shot. But. I mean, Turtle, once you try it, you might get hooked. Right. So you gotta watch out, man. <laughs> these, these things are addictive. For reality, bro. These things are addictive. And it's <laughs> coming to PS4, so it's ever so accessible for you. But we talked about that last week. That's probably going to be way too expensive. Um, I wonder how much Oculus is going to cost when it finally goes mainstream. So how much would it have to be for you to get for your computer since your computer is beast? Um, I think the highest I would go is probably 150 Yeah, it's going to be more than that, I think. Mm. If, if it were cheaper than $200, I would be very shocked. But everyone who tries it says it's awesome. I just didn't want to wait in line for two hours. Um, so we're not going to talk about PAX East, you know, for the first half of the show, even though I could. But um, I picked out, like, I don't know, eight of the indie games that I saw that I thought were absolutely amazing. Blew my socks off. We're going to try to get as many of the people I talked to on the show. So um, we can have the chat talk to them. We can interview them uh, a little more. But... Um, I did get, I think, about 16 interviews, 16 game interviews uh, with developers about um, about some indies that were there. So we are having those up on YouTube. We have our first one up on YouTube right now. It's an interview with um, Jay Tholen, who is uh, kind of close to the show a little bit. He's a, fr a close friend. Well, not close friend, Clowns. Is he, is he a close friend to your sister? Uh, not sister. <laughs> your um, wife, rather? Wife. Yeah, Sorry. my wife. They they went to school together, so I guess you could say like they're kind of like acquaintances. Yeah. Um, they know each other. Um, they're from the same town, basically, and everything. Gotcha. But yeah, so we interviewed Jay, and um, his game is Dropsy, uh, a point and click hug venture. I guess it's called. It's on. It's uh, not quite out yet. It's coming out June, July of this year. Um, but definitely go check it out. Um, we did the interview with him, and that's up on YouTube on our channel right now. So go watch that interview, leave some comments, go check out his game. It's pretty solid. 
Um, but um, over the next couple of weeks, we'll go into more detail about about the games we saw at PAX East. Uh, I think the first one we'll really go into detail. The first couple um, would be Zombie Vikings by Zoink, which is the company that made um, Stick It to the Man, which we all love. Um, Tassin, are you interested in Zombie Vikings? Uh, yes. I surely am. I can't remember if it was you or Clowns who said you were really interested in it. Somebody said that they really were. I, I think we both were. I think I, we're both really into it. I wasn't too into it until I saw it at PAX. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I saw them do that dev stream. Remember that? We were watching that on Twitch. Yeah. Assassin. And, uh, I saw them do that dev stream, and, you know, before that, I wasn't really into it, but, uh... I interviewed Klaus, who is, you know, like the founder of the company and the director, and he was amazing. He gave me an awesome interview, and he sold me on the game, so I'll definitely um, I'll definitely be checking that one out, and hopefully we can get Klaus on the show, or anyone from Zoring for that matter, to talk about the game and uh, talk with you guys about it. But um, yeah, we'll probably feature them, and then hopefully we can get the the guys and gals from Never Not Games, which puts out a game called um, Slash Dash. It's called. It's gonna be exclusively for Xbox One, and it's kind of like a couch co-op party game. And it's very simple but very awesome at the same time. It was a huge hit at PAX, um, and they've been showing it off for you know the past year, year and a half. Only four developers from from New York. Um, NYU actually, and I spoke to Vivian, I spoke to Adnan, Alexander, and Armand, all of them, while I was at PAX, and they were awesome, so we're going to get them on the show, and uh, we'll have the interview with them um, up on YouTube really quickly, so I don't want to like go on too long about PAX, but we'll we'll go over it for the next couple weeks, since there's just so much to talk about about PAX, but um, anyway, do you guys have anything to say about PAX? I feel like I'm talking everyone's ear off here i watched your interview yeah. earlier today and that what was it dropsy dropsy yep yeah that that game does look like it's going to look good like it looks like it's going to be good dude the art style but, is amazing he did it all himself he did most of the art himself and then he hired animators and he got a little team going after he got a little bit of funding and and devolver came to him you know literally after his his uh, story appeared on what was it, Rock Paper Shotgun or whatever. So um, once his, his name got out there on Kickstarter and you know some of these big gaming sites, I mean, he was golden. So yeah, I hope it does make it over to the consoles. Yeah, same, same. I definitely want to check it out. But as you know, Turtle, before the show, we got into a little a little tuffle about PC gaming. You know, me and Clowns aren't really huge PC gamers, but <laughs> if it came to consoles, we'd definitely check it out. I mean, I probably, hell, I mean, I interviewed him, I loved the guy, I thought he was really a lot of fun, so I'll probably check it out on PC nonetheless, but get that on my Xbox One, Jay. Come on now. <laughs> Come on, Devolver. Um, Alright, anyway, we gotta move on. We gotta move on. Anything else about PAX real quick before we move on? Mm-hmm. Nothing? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll Oh, get, uh, one thing, the Team 17 game that... Was it called Exorcism or something that you Extre- mentioned briefly? No, Extreme Exorcism is um, is Ripstone. They are publishing it. It's developed by Golden Ruby. Hopefully, we can get them on the show too. I really, really would love to get them on the show. Um, Extreme Exorcism, yeah, that game looks awesome too. God, there's so many games and so little time on these shows to do it. But we'll we'll go through over the next couple of weeks and do a few of them every week. So, so yeah. Anyway, so that's PAX East. Um, no one has entered our... Uh, there are people in the chat, but no one is entering our giveaway. For some reason. Type in exclam- exclamation point raffle into the chat to get in. I mean, you got to get in to win, right? So, get in that. And uh, I'll send that to you directly after the show, your Twitch name. So, you will be able to get into the Smite Alpha right now. It's running right now. So, and Assassin, what's the deal about the Smite Alpha? The Smite Alpha? Oh, the Smite Alpha never ends. So you can play now and whenever they decide to close down Smite for good, basically. So, <laughs> um, you know... You no, well, when it comes out... Oh, well, when it comes out, it's going to be free to play anyway. So you're yep, essentially so getting in free to play right now, right? Yep. 
And um, since it's alpha, you're going to experience bugs. And since it's also a closed alpha, there's not going to be as many people. So they set up some community nights on Wednesdays and Sundays. I don't know the times, but just so then they could get everyone together and play their game and test test it out. Gotcha. And this weekend, all the gods will be available for you to test out. Normally, they're going to cycle through the gods, so you won't be able to to use all of them, but this weekend only you'll be able to use all of them. So, and that's for Xbox One Alpha testers only. Oh, that's only for Xbox One, huh? Yep. Well, that makes yep. sense. Only that makes sense. Yep. Um, so yeah, we will be giving out a code in probably like three minutes. We'll give out the first one. So, get in! Exclamation point raffle. All right, first thing we'll talk about um, after PAX East. GTA heists, right? Um, a little on the broken side on release, and it, and it wasn't because of the game; it was more because of servers, right? Um, nope. So, Terrell, why don't you tell us your experience at like four o'clock in the morning the day it came out? Okay, so I was able to get the updates really early in the morning, and I managed to play two heists and. My experience with the with both highs was it was great. Like it was exactly what we've been waiting for. And um We've been waiting for for how long now, Assassin? Remind us again? One and a half years. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Alright, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I like during my playthrough for both highs, like um I never experienced any kind of bugs or anything that would ruin the experience. So, I mean, it's like any other mission in the game. Yeah, so that's why you say, and I agree with you when you say, that the game isn't inherently broken. Like, heist isn't inherently mm -hmm. broken. It's all about servers. the servers. And right now I'm going to pop up the error message that you got um, if you try to play it later after Turtle played it early in the morning when everyone was trying to connect to it. So, it would say, alert, files required to play GT Online cannot be downloaded from the Rockstar Games service. Please return to Grand Theft Auto V and try again later. That's what you would just get over and over and over and over if you, uh, if you tried, you know, during the late morning, early afternoon that day that it came out, which was, what, the 10th? What was that? Mm -hmm. Was it Tuesday? Yeah, that was the 10th. Yeah, that was the 10th. Yeah, so it was the 10th. Um, so, Sasson, tell us what you experienced. Oh, uh, well, basically this error message, and then a few days later, um, like, Turtle and I, I believe, no, it was Cody, I, mean, I don't know, but we played, and we got through the first one, and then I kept on getting this message once in a while. Yeah, we tried, yeah. too. We got through, like, yep. the first part, remember? We drove, and then, the, what's the guy's name? I can't even remember, dude. Lester. He sc scoped out the place, we came back to the pad, and then all of a sudden we're disconnected with this error message, like halfway through the damn thing. And it sucks because, like, for some of these you have to pay money to get them. Like, in-game money, and it's... How much are they usually? Like, the more um, expensive ones can be, like, in the tens of thousands of dollars, right? Or something yeah. like that. Um, I, I think the price depends on the uh, scope of the highs, like... How big the heist is. Gotcha. Makes sense. Makes sense. Pons, did you try any uh, of heist at all? Or? No, I haven't. I gotta re-download it, and it's just gonna take up space that I need for Borderlands. True. True that, dude. True that. By the time you download it, it's gonna be fixed, though. So you're not even gonna have this issue. Me, dude, me and Assassin just tried over and over and over to get out of Cody. It was... Ugh, dude. It was impossible. But, um, Apparently, the PlayStation console's got an update to fix all the rest of the problems in the Xbox One. They're getting it sometime next week. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I'd like to see if that works. Hopefully it does. Hopefully they get this fixed like really quick, because the heists are fun. Inherently. Yep. Just get your service fixed, bruh. Get your service fixed. Alright, next topic, since we gotta move. We gotta move here. I promise Turtle this will not go over. Um, <laughs> Battlefield Hotline is now available. I feel like we've been talking about this for the past th 
three weeks, but it's now available for EA Access members. So that means us. We all have EA Access here, so we've all had a chance to try it. I haven't taken that chance because I've been busy with PAX e stuff and with um, with the show stuff, but these guys have tried it. Um, we got some video provided from Turtle. And uh, let's talk about the video itself here. Uh, so 720p on the Xbox One, which is what this console, what this uh, video is. Um, and 900p on the PS4. Same deal as Battlefield 4 a year and a half ago. Uh, do you think they should have stepped it up, or do you think it's okay? you think the game looks good? What do you guys think about the graphics of the final version? I think it looks good. Like, actually playing it, it looks good. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think it's fine. I mean, there's not much more I would do to it. Right? I mean, I think it looks better. I think it looks better than Battlefield 4. I'm putting it out there. I think it looks better than Battlefield 4. I play it. I see a difference, for sure. It's definitely smoother, 100%. Like, even with this last Battlefield update that's improved the smoothness and the net code and everything, um, you know, it, it's still smoother. It's a lot smoother. So you can play match upon match upon match and not experience big frame hiccups. And that alone is amazing. Um, so what else about Hotline do you guys want to talk about? I mean, the most popular modes are still Heist and Hotwire, right? Yep. Or am yeah. I wrong with that? And Conquest. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people playing Conquest. Still? A lot of people? Yep. yep. Um, have you guys noticed any difference differences from the beta? Um, not really. I mean, it well, seems like the sometimes frame rate is a little smoother. Yeah. Um, for, so, go ahead. Go ahead. From what I've seen, uh, the guns are like triple more expensive than what they were in the beta but other than oh that, right dude yeah right the guns are really expensive because now in battlefield you buy the guns you don't unlock them so you earn money in the game uh versus just unlocking them with uh rank progression that's true very true um yeah dude I i'm just gonna save my money for whatever guns i want i'm not just gonna buy guns just to have new guns anymore that's why i did in the beta i'm just gonna save my money um Clowns, tell us about your... Uh, Clowns went on a little tirade about this game earlier, about the uh, camping. We won't use the choice words Clowns <laughs> used, but... Um. It's just... I mean, come on. It's it's a cops versus criminal game. It's not like a military game where I can see in Battlefield 4, you'd want to camp or maybe like Call of Duty. But in this game, there's people actually camping. I mean, in real life, do criminals really camp the local police department? It's not, not like it's a SWAT team in there. You know, so, I mean, it just kind of... For me, they need to nerf some of that camping and make it uh, not doable, you know? Dude, on heist that, mode? That's all it, yeah, on heist, it's bad. The camping's bad. And I... Yeah. It was bad on the beta, and the maps haven't really changed, so it's going to be bad in this. Um, Even I on mean, Hotwire, honestly, um, people are camping the cars in Hotwire. Really? As, as much as the beta and... As much as I played both the beta and this, I haven't seen any campers. Dude, really on ice? I might just be I might just be getting lucky and getting on good maybe. servers, but I haven't seen any. Yeah, campers. definitely getting maybe lucky. Maybe you're dude. a camper turtle. Ooh. No. Maybe turtles the camper. I'm constantly moving. I'm constantly moving. Um. All right. Before we continue on this topic, we are going to give away one of the codes now. So if you haven't gotten in. Exclamation point raffle to get in the uh, the giveaway. Um, let's get the image up. Um, so exclamation point raffle. I'll give you like ten seconds, which isn't really going to mean anything because it's delayed on Twitch. Um, all right, I'm hitting draw for the first code. Bam! Oh! The winner is... The Jizzle, congratulations. You have won a, you have won a smite code, courtesy of 4Guys of Quarters. And, uh, courtesy of who else, Clowns? Uh, courtesy of Smite. Directly from Smite, yeah, so... They gave us the codes to give away, so... 
Um, we will. I'm opening it again right now. Type in exclamation point raffle. We are resetting it, and we have more codes to give away. So we'll draw another one in about 15 minutes. Exclamation point raffle. Jizzle, you cannot win it again. Um, so I'll write your name down, and you will get the code after the show. So if you want to win it again, uh, we get two more codes to give away tonight. Exclamation point raffle to get in and uh, and to get again. All right. Anything more on Battlefield, really? Are we missing anything on Battlefield? Um, there was one thing. I saw a Turtle playing Hotwire once. It was on a very <laughs> uh, big map that had a lot of water, and all the cars were just driving right on top of the water like there was no problem. Yeah, the map was what? called the map was called Everglades, and you're in like this swamp area. And I looked to my right, and there was this van that was almost. <laughs> completely submerged, yet the car I was in was driving right over the top of the water. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, but they fixed that. There, I mean, there's parts where it feels like you're still going to drive over, but now the car sinks and automatically ejects you from the car. Mm -mm. No, I was literally, I even did it on a motorcycle. I was going right over the water. No I got to see this part then, because... It yeah, because I, I was on that map today, and we sunk. We tried to redo your thing, and we all sunk. Was it on a Hotwire, or was it on another game mode? Uh, I played it on Hotwire, and I played it on, uh, which one? What is that? Conquest, I think? Um, that's, that's crazy. That's absolutely it might have just been like a one-time glitch or something. I don't know. They could have done a... One of those hot patch things. Yeah. Um. I gotta try this before before launch. I mean, I'm not gonna buy this right away. Do you do you guys regret pre-ordering it? I mean, you guys have it pre-ordered. Is it living up to your standards right now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing all day Tuesday, even though I still have time on my trial. <laughs> See, this is what I gotta say. Inferno's a smart man. Because he's going to get Borderlands first. Right. That's a smart man right there. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I've got Borderlands pre-ordered also. Me too. <laughs> well, excuse me. <laughs> Daddy Warbucks. <laughs> um, all right. Sorry, guys. I was kind of like not attentive. I'm sending out another tweet. All right. Um, OG Link says no one else on He's trying to get this game for a while <laughs> yeah all right well it's looking good right now um yeah OG, you got a good shot at this today it's looking good right now i just sent out a tweet though so maybe you're gonna have uh somebody some to bat some, some competition. competition yeah um so og link says early in the chat uh campers will always be an fps um i think that's true I, th I think it's true too. I think it's true too. But in this game, like you're used to a battlefield game where the campers don't really win too much, um, or it's not too, you know, advantageous to be a camper. So mm -hmm. that's why we're all pissed about that. OG Link, um, Maverick in the chat says yet another battlefield. I'll suck at it and won't play. Oh, gotta give it a try. Um. Anyway, so that's Battlefield Hotline. EA Access. Camper is abundant. Um, if you get EA Access, you have a 10-hour trial right now of the multiplayer, and you can play the first two episodes, right? The prologue and episode one yep. of, um, of the uh, single player. So go check that out. That's Battlefield Hotline. Um, what is the next topic? Oh, the next topic is general news. We already got through. The first couple topics. Holy cow, Turtle. We are ahead of schedule. Um, all right. So general news, guys. We're just going to go through this really quick. If you guys have something to say about it, please do uh, type in the chat, and um, and we will get to your comment. Um, Halo Master Chief Collection Bundle. Assassin, you were the one that brought this to my attention. Tell us about this. Uh, just to play an old Xbox with the games. That's it. Mm. Excuse Special me. Special packaging. Excuse me. Col yes. Special Collector's packaging. packaging. My bad. It's got a little, you know, Master Chief on that. Look at the box. We've got the box displayed on the video, and it is a gorgeous box, guys. This is gonna make you get it. Three forty nine. No. The game's essentially free. No. This wouldn't make you get no. No. They're updating it. I mean, the game's been mm. less and less broken and less broken. It's probably at what 
What percentage are we saying M- MCC is at? Like 70 at this point? 50. 50? No, I think it launched it. <laughs> I launched it like 30, I'd say. I think at this point it's like it's 70. Turtle says 50. Uh, nah, I would say, in all seriousness, I would say probably about 80. Yeah, it's getting there. It's mm. definitely getting there. Uh, multiplayer, not so much, but um, the campaign stuff is getting there. Multiplayer, I'm still having problems getting into the games whenever I try, but... I haven't had any problems getting into games. Oh, excuse me, then. Always mm. the contrarian, this turtle. <laughs> you know that? Always the contrarian. Um, speaking of Halo, um... ODST is coming soon. Remember, um, the guys over at 343 <laughs> said that Halo 3 ODST will be coming to Halo MCC, Master Chief Collection. So they showed a screenshot of their progress, and it looks like they're making some good progress and that the game will be coming soon. No official release date on that one, though. Um, but remember, if you bought the game and played it within the first month, you will be getting it for free. Otherwise, you'll have to pay some unannounced amount of money to get Halo 3 ODST. But uh, a nice little ad. A nice little ad. Um, ODST, I think, was pretty underrated. It wasn't the greatest, but it was definitely underrated. I think it's like Assassin's favorite. No. Favorite Halo game of all time. No. Right? <laughs> Whenever we talk about Halo games, you're always like, dude, you're leaving out ODST. Like... And reach and wars. Clown seems to have dropped his webcam. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't find it. <laughs> I don't know where it fell. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, Halo MCC getting ODST soon. Getting a remade Halo Two map as well. What's the map it's getting? The Relic. New Relic is going to be getting the remaster treatment for multiplayer. So. Go check that out if you're an ODEST slash Halo MCC fan. Um, but I'll definitely be playing it. Have, um, they announced, have they announced a price for ODST for people who didn't play no, in the first month? No, no price announced yet. Mm, I no. guess it'll probably be $9.99 or something. If it's, anything, dude, if it's anything over 10 bucks, they've got some real stones mm-hmm. charging that kind of money. I'd say 15 15 Ooh, okay. Mm. okay. Because, what game? you know, they did... Re- well, not remaster it, but gave it 60 frames. And it could be, be. I think it could be up to 15, but. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, we're going to time that out. Don't post Don't post links of, of bad stuff in the chat, please. What, have game, some, was, have some what game was that Was that he was talking about? Does anybody even know? <laughs> no, I <laughs> I don't know what game that was. Uh, anyway, so that's Halo. That's Halo. Um, what do you guys want to talk about next? Smite. A little bit of Smite action. Uh, Turtle captured some Smite video for us. Obviously, we're doing the giveaway, but the alpha did just go live for Xbox people this week. So, um, tell us about the. Uh, tell us about the. The alpha guys, you guys enjoying it? You guys think it's uh, it's pretty stable right now, or a lot of bugs? What do you guys think? Um, from what I played, you know, some matches you get into it, it, it is unplayable because of all the lag. You know, sometimes the lag goes away halfway through. Sometimes you don't get it. It's, you know, but what, whatever. It's an alpha, so it's expected. But I know from once. I start up the game. The control scheme like scared me a little bit. <laughs> right. So the There's control like scheme buttons all over the place. Yeah, yeah. So they're trying to get. I mean, this game obviously was a PC game first for anyone who's familiar with it. It's a MOBA, so I mean, those games usually get their start on PC, and as such, there are a lot of buttons. Uh, keyboard certainly has more buttons than a controller, so they had to get that scheme somehow onto the controller. So, uh, is there a lot of like? shoulder button holding and trigger holding and multiple as in like over two button presses at the same time um, that kind of stuff or there's never like, over two buttons there there is four different variants of two buttons just to like because when you you're playing when you level up you get like a like a skill point kind of thing where you put it in one of your skills and that's like for our my control scheme at least it's like uh, what is it? Left trigger and X or whatever like that. Or B or Y or A or whatever. But other than that, everything's... It, the controls work perfectly, I think. 
Yeah, I got the. Nice. I, I got used to the controls within maybe, let's say, ten minutes. Yep. Ten minutes. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not good. that hard to learn. I mean, it's kind of intimidating looking at the controls, but like actually playing it, it's easy. And for you know how it shows the buttons on the screen too. So like, if you want to use a consumable, say left on the D or right on the D pad. Yeah. So I mean, it helps you out. Gotcha. Um, kind of related in the chat. OG Link says uh, Gigantic will be the game of the year. Mm-hmm. So you think a MOBA is gonna win the game of the year? I mean, that is no. a lot of people are getting into them now. Um, you know, it's it's perfect for esports, so it's gonna get a lot of publicity and a lot of um, a lot of attention. And I mean, we've seen with Evolve, you know, a, a regular, good old multiplayer game getting the uh, mm. getting the esports treatment. So, um, you guys think that you guys think that Gigantic? I mean, we don't know a lot about Gigantic as of right now, so we can't really make a fair judgment. But a MOBA winning game of the year, guys, what do you think? No. See, I I'm not sure yet, um, <clears throat> because I know that Gigantic's going to be huge, and I say that because it is cross. Cr- platform i mean it's going to be windows 10 and xbox one so -hmm. that's going to bring a whole bunch of gamers into the servers because i believe the servers uh, you can play your friends from windows 10 on xbox one and vice versa right so it's like cross compatible server and yeah it's going to bring a lot of attention to the the moba type um things and it's going to sell the console that's what i think I, i don't know about game of the year though it all depends on you know the other stuff coming out. We still got Witcher Three, and um, oh, what else was there? There was another Star game I was looking forward to. What yep. is this? What did you say? Star, Star Wars Star Battlefront. Wars. Oh, Battlefront. Yeah, Division. If that ever comes out this year, Rainbow Six Siege. Like, there's so many good games coming out, and Gigantic looks awesome. But uh, you know, it's hard for me to give. I mean, that cross-platform thing is awesome. I'm not going to lie. That's fantastic. And a few games are going to be doing that this year, thank God. Uh, it's not just going to be Gigantic or Fable. A few games are going to be doing it. But I have a problem giving a multiplayer-only game. Um, essentially, a multiplayer-only game. Um, the game of the year. But that's just me. Um, what else about Smite? Anything else about Smite? Um, no. I mean, we covered it all, I believe. I mean, it's going to be... Epic fail. My mic was muted. Were you talking? (laughs) Yeah. Wow, (laughs) you're unbelievable, kid. Unbelievable. Podcast fail. We have a podcast fail. All right, what did you have to say about Gigantic and or Smite? Oh, no, I was just saying that I... You said something about a online only game it's not main game of the year but you kind of put pvz game of the year <laughs> no but that's not multiplayer only it is no it's not it's not no it's no, garden, no, no, no. garden ops no 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 no. yeah dude i'm not saying <clears throat> are you talking about like a pvp like only kind of multiplayer or evolved kind of multiplayer yes like no, I, I hear what you, I hear what you say player. about PVZ. I said I said PVZ was game of the year, and that, and for all intents and purposes, that is mostly online mm-hmm. only. But no, I know you. I know that's that's a fair argument. That's a fair argument. I just think I had the most fun with PVZ. Definitely a good game. Um, but no, that's a good. That's that is a very good point. I just don't. I just have a hard time. Like, if I were to vote. For a game of the year, for like you know, major publication or something, I would, mm-hmm. I would have a problem. I mean, even though I love PVZ, I'd have a problem voting for it. But for me personally, as an average gamer, it's my game of the year. And Gigantic probably would be too for a lot of average gamers who love MOBAs or Smite even. But um, don't sleep on Metal Gear Solid. Jizzle says in the chat. True, very true. Oh, I slept on the game since like PS2. Nice, yeah, dude. The last one I played fully would be probably Metal Gear Solid 2, which was amazing, but since then, I haven't been too into it, but it's true. It's true, you can't, you can't... The graphics on Ground Zeroes, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, was, it was good. 
they were good, the graphics. So, I mean, if they can make that a very long single-player game, I mean, I'd be interested. Um, all right, we got to move off Smite because we're falling behind. All right, real quick, Mortal Kombat X delayed for PS3 and Xbox 360. Big deal or not? Not really. No, nah, not Did they say how long it was going to be delayed? Till May. T- till summer. They said summer. So oh, they said May. Early, yeah, earliest they would be May, they said. So, some, they don't have, there's no definite date like there is for the current gen consoles. Um, but I don't know if you saw the graphic that I put up. You guys probably aren't seeing it because you're not watching it, but it's Scorpion saying, come over here. Not yet. Xbox 360 slash PS3. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. If I do say so myself. But yeah, MKX delayed for 360 and PS3. Um, yeah, the digital just says, you know, in appropriate terms, just get the get the next gen. Yeah, I mean, I, I would have to agree. This game's probably going to be way better on next gen, wouldn't you say? I mean, the graphics look phenomenal on next gen stuff. On the MKX and next gen, so. Um, more exciting news from Mortal Kombat X. Jason from... Uh, what movie is Jason from again? Friday the 13th. I know. I know. It's Friday the 13th today. That's the point. That's why I said it. Oh, get it. <laughs> Friday the 13th. They announced it today. Jason is coming to Mortal Kombat X. Uh, what game was Freddy in? Uh, the Nightmare last. Entry. Was it in the last Mortal Kombat? Yeah. He was, so they're kind of like continuing that trend. I remember playing as him on the Vita version. We should put them both together. Yeah. Dude, are you serious? Jason. (laughs) Um, Movie all over again. Nice. (laughs) Um, So, this isn't free, though. You're not going to get it for free. You have to buy the season pass, which is called the Combat Pack, unless you get one of the multiple special editions for the game. So you're going to have to shell out $30 for the combat pack, which gives you four characters, a bunch of different costumes, and what else? Early access to some downloadable content. So you're going to have to shell out 30 bucks in order to get them, unless you get the, the special edition. So 30 bucks for four characters and skins, guys? What is this, Dead or Alive all over again? Well, I had 60 bucks to that then. Yes, it is Dead or Alive. Oh. See, see what's happening, Turtle? This is what happens when you support people. Companies like those that shall not go named that have yeah, dead or alive. Um, no, but in all seriousness, that's ridiculous for four characters. Um, unless the outfits. No, what am I saying? I was just going to say, unless the outfits are amazing. Like, come on. 30 bucks. Um, is dead or alive out on the one? Yes, dead or alive is out on the one. Um. Jizzle, yeah, you're a little bit behind. That came out like a couple, like a month ago, but um, I think it was yeah. February seventeenth or twenty first, something like that. Yeah, I think it was on the seventeenth of February. So you're about a month behind. Um, so yeah, that's Mortal Kombat news. Real quick, we're gonna go through these quickly. Um, Goat Simulator coming to the Xbox One and three sixteen in April. Who is excited? Yeah, I know you are, Assassin. You're getting this. You're getting it. You're getting Goat Simulator. Turtle, Goat Simulator? Uh, Clowns has got thumbs down already, like right in the friggin' webcam. <laughs> Clowns, no Goat Simulator? No, uh, I'm getting it. Yeah, I'm getting it. Ten bucks? It's probably gonna be like ten bucks. Um, I think it will be ten because it's ten on PC. Right, so ten bucks maximum on the on the Xbox One. The graphics gonna be phenomenal. It'll probably be sixty frames a second. It's gonna be fun. I have multiplayer. I forget. Yeah, I think it is. There we go. We could all be goats together. We can all be goats for ten bucks. Um, Jizzle says this game is awesome. I'm getting it. Uh, Maverick says sold. So people are excited in the chat about about goats anyway. We should just change our name to Four Goats with Quarters. (laughs) Yeah, you're fine. No. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) you're ridiculous. Yeah, so that's Goat Simulator. It's coming next month. Um, OG Link says he wants to be a goat. See, so other people, other people other than Assassin want to be a goat. So, um, uh, let's give away the thir- the second Smite code right now. 
Um, so April first? No, it's not coming out April first. Um, it's come. I don't know when in April it's coming out, but it's coming out sometime in April. Uh, the jizzle. Um, so we're gonna draw the uh, winner for the raffle right now. Here we go. Oh, and look at that. The winner is OG Link. Congratulations. You have won a code for Smite Alpha. So you will be enjoying it later. After the show, I will send you the code. So congratulations. Please follow. Don't leave. Um, <laughs> no, but <laughs> hopefully you, got, you guys enjoy the Smite codes because the game is pretty solid. I mean, it's not my cup of tea, but these guys have been enjoying it. So um, congratulations, OG underscore Link. All right, while well, I write that down, next topic, quickly. Titanfall 2 announced. Multi-platform? Is that, is that a big deal? Multi-platform? No. Did you say no. insta-buy, Assassin? Insta-buy, yeah. Wow. Assassin's one of those people that's going to pre-order a year in advance. No, because it's <laughs> not on the Xbox store. Okay. Well, you know what? <laughs> Titanfall or Titan fail? That's the question. And would you actually spend... The sixty bucks at launch on that game, or would you wait until it's down to like thirty or forty? Sixty. No, I get it at launch. I got the first one at launch. Dude, I've got to say, even though the first one kind of flopped a little bit, like it better than COD, better than Advanced Warfare. I prefer playing it over COD. Um, That's why I didn't buy COD either, and I was disappointed in Titanfall to be honest with you. I mean, the graphics are amazing, and the gameplay would be good if they didn't have so many. AI bots in there. Get rid of those AI bots and put actual people in there. Come on, put those servers to the test. Yeah, dude. You I mean, it, it is it is EA after all, right? Yeah, dude. I mean, you, you, you know they're not going to pull that. They can't pull that crap again. If they pull that crap again, it's a death sentence. 64 Titans. Um, Jizzle says insta-buy. Haven't, still haven't played the first one, but it's an insta-buy for that kid. Um, and Cody says $60, no question. So people are into Titanfall. It's multi-platform, no release date announced, but Respawn has uh, confirmed it is coming. Titanfall 1 DLC in in an announcement in celebration for their one-year anniversary, they are releasing, uh, not releasing, I mean they already have released the DLC, but it's all going to be free. So congratulations if you don't have the DLC by now and you have Titanfall, go pick it up, it's free and will remain free, right Turtle? Is that what you said? Yep. Yep, they announced that it will remain free on all three consoles. Well, both consoles and PC. Right, so 360, P- uh, PS4, wow. 360, Xbox One, PC. It's going to be free. It's free right now. Go get it. Go get it. The DLC maps are awesome, too. I love some of the DLC maps, so you're missing out if you don't have them by now. So um, definitely pick them up. So... I know I didn't say this, but um, we are giving away a third code at the end of the show. So if you still haven't gotten the code and you're in the chat and you want one, exclamation point raffle. Uh, previous winners cannot win again, so don't even bother entering. I will just redraw. So, yeah. It is open right now, so go check it out. Um, all right, really quick. I think we'll skip the last news story because we're running a little behind all of a sudden. Rock Band 4, you can request your own songs now. So they have a page on harmonicsmusic.com. So the URL is at the top of the uh, picture if you're watching the video version. If you're not, it's harmonicsmusic.com slash game slash rock dash band slash request. You can type in your song title and the artist. Um, and you can request songs to be in Rock Band 4, which comes out later this year, probably in the fall. Um, yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think of that? Requesting music. I know Clowns isn't a huge fan of Rock Band, but you got to appreciate that, right, Clowns? You know, I'm just waiting for people to request, like, uh, stuff that's not going to ever make it in there. You know? Light, like, uh, Kid, Kid Rock. <laughs> no, like, Kid Rock's early stuff. Yeah. Uh, insane Clown Posse. Yeah. yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. I'm waiting for <laughs> people to, like, <laughs> do that. Like, the ridiculously <laughs> vulgar stuff. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, man. You're right. It. Uh, you know, really interesting comment from Jizzle in the chat. He says they're just using it for metrics. So, maybe they are, dude. Maybe they're... Dude, what if they're just doing this just to figure out what they're going to charge... What they're going to get us for for DLC? And it's not going to be included in the main game. I mean, this isn't anything new. They had something similar to this where 
where you could go and request DLC on their Facebook page for Re Rock Band really? 3. I missed out on that. Mm -hmm. Did anything come of that? Do you remember if any of the songs... Really? Yep. Oh my god. They gosh, actually had a video. list of, uh, I think it was like the top, it was like the top 50 or top 100 artists that were requested. Really? Mm -hmm. Dude, so they're doing it again. They're just veiling it and making it look like they're going to put it in the real game because it's before release. Um, so yeah. Assassin, are you going to request some music? Some Muzak? Some Nickelback, perhaps? Oh, just for Turtle Royals. Ooh. Just no. for Turtle. No. Dude. No, that would be just for you. No, Royals has got to be in the game already. <laughs> like they, If they haven't gotten that, they, they've got to. Um, Assassin, can you sing a little bit of Royals for us? No, no, I'm just kidding. no. <laughs> I don't. I want to gain viewers. I don't want to lose viewers here. Nice, <laughs> nice. Um, all right, the Nicki Minaj songs that are being requested in the chat. Um, I would not request those on Rock Band because sadly, I think those probably might make it in because they had some weird stuff at the DLC. Um, mm -hmm. So I mean, I th I think some of that stuff might make it in because I think they're trying to get some some more mainstream music in those games. To attract the casual audience, Maverick says, "I'm gonna request all country songs." You know, Robin. I think it was Robin Three. Actually, had dead country. A con yeah, they had a lot of country. Yeah, remember a few years ago they used to release like individual packs. Yeah, dude. As individual games, they had like a country pack that they released for like twenty dollars as an individual game. Yeah, dude. Absolutely. They, mm -hmm. uh, dude, request it. I mean. You may be saying that like a joke, but I think if you request it, they'll probably include it, because they had their country songs before, so. Yeah, go look at the Rock Band 3 DLC store. There's a lot of country songs on there. So, yeah. Um, he's on the credits for the Country Pack standalone for some reason. Even though you didn't work on that, I'm guessing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's really weird. But good nugget of information. You can just drop that line if you're ever at you know a bar or something. <laughs> and uh, there's a girl there at the, the girl. There's a girl there at the bar, and you're like, I'm in the credits for Rock Band Country. Um, so yeah. All right, we gotta move on. We gotta move on. We're a little behind. Project Cars delayed again. Um, it, is this it's not news. Is this even news? Like I yeah. had to include it though, because it's just so funny. Delayed again. Um, this How many times? The fifth, is, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Dude, this time, is, I know. It, it feels like it, but it's only the third, and they're delaying it till mid-May uh, for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. And they're gonna compensate us with free DLC. Whoop do friggin' do? They've delayed the game for like almost a year, um, and apparently it's because they're not even getting the bugs. Apparently the software they're using or whatever to detect bugs is really slow and inefficient or something. I don't know. I read a little bit up on this. It's not even because the game is buggy in general. It's just they can't even detect the bugs, so... I don't get it. Whatever. Moving on. Alright, new releases this week. Just really quick. Ollie Ollie. Tell us about Ollie Ollie, Turtle, because that came out last just after our show last week, so on the 6th, on Friday of uh, last week. 849 right now if you want to pick it up as a gold member but normally mm -hmm. 999 tell us a little bit of Ollie, about Ollie really quick Ollie Ollie okay so it's a 2D side scrolling 8 bit game and the goal is you're basically just like doing tricks to uh, like get combos try to beat world records scores Oh, you hear that, Clouds? It's a it's leaderboard fest, it sounds like. Yeah, they got well, aliens, too. I picture, you know, I do picture Turtle like Tony Hawk, you know. I can picture him riding Same. a skateboard, yep. maybe a little hat backwards <laughs> or beanie with headphones on. Yep. And then he goes off the big ramp and he falls and he gets back up and does it again. Wait, did you just describe me right now? Yep. <laughs> nice. Okay, um. <laughs> no, but in all, in, in all seriousness... This it is, is a very fun game. It looks fun, and it's de for those people who you know want to be world record holders in these games and want to get to the top of the leaderboards and whatnot. Clowns. <laughs> um, Assassin by it. Assassin, <laughs> <and, laughs> nice. <laughs> and the levels are not that long, so it, like it's more like an arcade type of game where uh, you can just like pick it up and play it for like a few minutes like, in your spare time. So I. Uh, 
Like, it's got, like, a lot of levels, too. Um, how many levels would you say? Uh, I, I actually don't know, but, uh, I guess maybe more than 50, maybe. That's good. I mean, for 850, mm -hmm. why the hell not? I think I might pick it up. Yeah, it's worth it for that price, even at, like, the $10 price tag without the gold deals. Why it's still worth it. Um, another release that I, uh, you know, haven't gotten a chance to play, but I'm really looking to get at some point, and I think Turtle's the only one who's played it, is White Knight. Um, so White Knight came out on last Friday as well, um, on the 6th of March, and it's $15. Uh, tell us a little bit about what the gameplay is like, Turtle. So I, you're the only one who's played it, right? You guys haven't played it? Yeah. Class, hasn't? No, they haven't played it. All right, Turtle, we're waiting on you, Inferno. Yeah, right. Good. Okay, so the entire game, from what you can see from the pictures, right now, it's in black and white, yeah. and that offers like a really unique gameplay experience because, like, how many other games do you know of that are in entirely black and white? <laughs> uh, none. But what if you're colorblind? Yeah. Well, even better. <laughs> Assassin, you're colorblind. How are you doing with black and white right now? Um, nice. <laughs> not, not, like, not all black and white here. <laughs> uh, um, so basically, it's like, I wouldn't exactly say horror survival, but it's got like some horror game aspects to it. But um, you have matches, like, if any of you played Outlast, and I had to go after batteries constantly. That's basically what you're doing in this with matches. Gotcha. Makes so, sense. Yeah, I think the maximum you can carry is like 12 matches, and each match lasts maybe one to two minutes. So they go by pretty quick. Dude, it looks interesting. It definitely looks mm -hmm. interesting. 15 bucks, I mean... I, honestly, though, I see this one getting cheaper, so I'm not trying yeah. to pick it up right away. But I'm going to watch some streams about it. Definitely, you guys, check it out because, um, you know, it looks very interesting. Jizzle says in the chat, Mad World, isn't that black and white? Um, Never heard of it. I think it is black and white, though. It's like black, black, white. I think there's a little bit of red in there and maybe that's it. But I don't know. Yeah, but this is, the art style is very unique, nonetheless, even though... Yeah. Colors aside, the art style is very unique. So, um, check it out. Um, sorry, we gotta go through these kind of quickly, unfortunately. Um, Zombie Army Trilogy. Uh, you guys have all played that. Um, this week, only until Tuesday, I believe, you can pick it up for $40, but it's normally 50 Came out on Friday. I think it may be only until Tuesday. If you're a gold member, you can get it till, at $40. So, um... Tell us about uh, Zombie Army Trilogy, anyone? Because I haven't played it. I bought it, but I haven't, I haven't played it. So, you're a soldier, and you kill zombies, and it's like Sniper Elite. Assassin, take it away. Um, <laughs> yeah, basically, I mean, it's in World War II. Hitler has a grand army of the undead, and you know, it's not like Call of Duty zombies where there's like so many zombies at a time. There's a whole like, this game has a lot of zombies. Yeah, some like, of these pictures are lot. showing a lot. I mean, it's not like... Don't don't skew the people. It's not like Dead Rising. No, I mean, but the, there's, like, a lot of zombies. You know, variants of, like, summoners, chainsaws, ones with LMGs, some explode. I mean... Gotcha. A lot of fun. Yeah, it looks cool. It's third-person view. You know, it's it's just like Clown said. It's, like... And Assassin's Head, it's like um, Sniper Elite. So it's if you're into that kind of gameplay and that kind of view, then uh, and you have some friends to play with. I mean, this is this you know, Clown said in the chat, game of the month, right? Uh, I mean, Turtle, you think it's kind of repetitive, right? You said that off air, but well, I mean, it can feel repetitive, but that's just like the type of game it is. You know, but, guys, I mean, you got. <laughs> You gotta forgive Turtle. He knows not what he speaketh of because 
if you <laughs> play this game and you go from what is it episode one, episode two, episode three is like completely different. I mean, there's like survivors you're out there trying to get. It's not repetitive at all like the previous episodes. I mean, Assassin showed me that, and he even let me walk in a hallway with a bunch of zombies and open up prison gates, and I got swarmed and bled to death. But yeah, so <laughs> I just wanted to throw that in there. Nice. <laughs> uh, well, the main problem I have that kind of breaks the experience for me is all of the zombies kind of look the same throughout the entire game. Like, there's, like, no variety in looks. Yeah, Ooh. dude. That kind of... If that... I mean, I mean, I haven't played, so I don't know, but if that is definitely true, then, I mean, that would that would kind of piss me off. I'm not going to lie. Mm. Yeah, there, I've noticed maybe, like, within, like, a few seconds, I'll see the same... Uh, the same zombie dressed in the same clothes I just killed, like, 20 seconds ago. Well, they are Nazis. I mean, they all wear the same outfit. I mean, if if let's just say the U.S. became zombies, you know, all the army. I mean, they all look the same. You wouldn't tell, like, oh, that guy has a mole. That guy. I mean, has it's beard. especially the ones with the gas mask. I mean, how can you tell them apart? I mean, they got gas masks on, so yeah, they look the same. But if you notice, if point. you pay close close attention, turtle. And to the mechanics of the game, you can notice that some of the gas mask men lean to the right, some lean to the left, Ooh. some walk with a hunch, some hang over like they're just like yeah. out drinking on a drinking binge. I mean, and then there's other zombies with shovels or like grenades that never explode. So, I mean, you just got to pay close attention, Turtle. Yeah, I'm usually too busy running away from the horde of zombies nice. coming at me to pay attention <laughs> to how they're walking. Um, in the chat, OG Link says, I would pay $20 for it, not more. Um, and on the other side of the spectrum, Dark Lurker says, oh, Zat, can't wait to play that. Uh, I don't know if you were trying to rhyme there, but that was pretty cute. Um, <laughs> but, so, I mean, some people are in love with it, some people hate it. I think that's where people are going to stand on this one. I'd like um, to address OG real quick, though, what he yeah. said. I, if, if it was, like, one episode for 20 bucks, I would definitely agree. But there's like three episodes, so you're getting like three games in one. So it's like, imagine episode one for 20, episode two for another 20, so that's 40, episode three for another 20, so that's like 60 right there. So like, you're getting three games in one because each episode has how many chapters, Assassin? Five. Five. So, I mean, you're playing five episodes um, for every, or five chapters for every episode. And there's three episodes in that game. And right. there's a ton of other stuff to find too, like collectibles, like blood bottles, gold bars. And there's Easter eggs. I mean, Assassin uh, walked up to a baby carriage, and what happened, Assassin? Started eating zombie. Or, no, yep. not zombie. What? Just a dead body. Yep. Started eating a dead body. All right. That's not creepy at all, really. Yeah. Um, or um, I opened a fridge, shot a zombie's head in there, and, like, the whole room just started oozing blood, and the door closed, and I was trapped with, like, ten zombies. Wow. All right, we gotta move on. But that's Zombie Army trilogy. Definitely check it out. I mean, we're we, got, we all have it. We're gonna be playing it. So if you want, you know, our Xbox gamer tags have been cycling below our name, uh, below our faces here, rather. Um, so definitely add us and and uh, we'll we'll check it out with you if you if you get it and you need people to play with. So um, we're there for you. Um, all right, just real quick, uh, Devil May Cry Definitive Edition. Essentially the same game you used to with all the DLC, 1080p, 60 frames a second remastered version um so that came out on the 10th and it is 40 dollars just quickly anyone picking this up no assassin's not i want to but i have a feeling it'll drop in price yeah dude wait for the price drop is my advice on this one um i mean it's a remastered game like those those games usually drop in price i mean the only the only remastered game that i haven't seen on sale until like fairly recently was like sleeping dogs and that game was trash anyway. No offense. Um, oh come no, on! Sleeping no, Dogs dude, is no, great. No, no, dude. I, no, I no no. Sleeping Dogs in general is good, but I'm saying the Definitive Edition one. Like I don't think it was oh, that yeah. much improved. It wasn't. Um, but I've heard a lot of great things about this remake. Yeah, this remake, remake. But yeah, no, this remaster, remaster. This remaster of Devil May Cry looks absolutely insane. The graphics look really mm -hmm. good, and it's very very smooth. So if you're into Devil May Cry, pick it up. 
If not, I mean, wait for the price drop if you if you want to get into it for the first time. But I mean, unless you're a huge enthusiast, then I would just wait for the price drop. It's coming. Um, okay, this is going to be the last one I think we talk for a while about. Ori in the Blind Forest uh, that came out on Wednesday for twenty dollars. Um, so this game has been getting fantastic reviews. I haven't played any of it yet, but I'm going to be doing a review for it. Um, but Turtle, um, has been playing a good amount of it, mm -hmm. I think. So, Turtle, tell us about Ori and the Blind Forest and why you think it's going to be, you know, very good and potentially game of the year. Okay, well, I will say, uh, it'll kind of pull on the heartstrings a little, you know, like, kind of emotional. Yeah, it make, <laughs> make you cry a little. It's all right. It's all right. Real men no, cry. Uh, no, like, the game is great. Like, the story is great. Like, graphics, art style, like, everything about it is just great. Yeah, dude, the, dude, the art style looks fantastic. I can't wait to give this the proper treatment because I... And it's hard, too. It's not even easy. Yeah, it's not even a it's, joke. It's, it's challenging. It's a very challenging game. And if I had to rate it, I would give it probably like a 10 out of 10. Yeah, really? Okay. Yeah, I mean, the reviews have been up there. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know the Metacritic score. I could look it up just really quick while we talk about it. But I, I'm all the reviews I've seen for it have been very high. Yeah, and the soundtrack in the game, like fits so perfectly with like what they're going for with like uh, telling uh, the emotional story and like the art style and everything like everything just like comes together perfectly right yeah dude this is the killer you know unique um, exclusive IP for the Xbox one I think even though it's an indie um, mm -hmm. you know 89 Metascore I just looked based on 44 critics 43 positive reviews so I think that's like 80 or above or maybe it's 70 or above on uh, Metas on Metacritic, and then one mixed review and no negative reviews. So this game is the real deal. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not sure on it, look into some videos, watch some streams. But it is the real deal. Um, any anything else from the other guys? I know you guys haven't played it, but anything else about it? No, we shall move on then. We shall move on. I know we could talk a little bit more about this, but we're not going to. Sorry, Turtle. Resident Evil Revelations Two Episode Three. Judgment uh, released on Wednesday. It is five ninety nine for the episode. Thumbs down, clowns. <laughs> um, but um, if you don't have episode one, you can't play this. So don't try buying it if you don't have episode one or two. Right? I mean, you have to buy them sequentially. No, you have to have both. Turtle. I I think you have to or do you at least have, have, have one? episode one. Yeah, maybe it's just one that you have to have, but you definitely have to have one. So, I mean, plan on spending at least $12 if you want to pick this up. Um, yeah, but it's because... 20... Sorry, oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, go ahead. I was going to say, it's not like what you're used to with, like, Telltale games, like, where your save progress, like, carries over to the next game. It's not like that because, like, it's a pretty straightforward story. Gotcha. There's no options or anything. Gotcha. Oh, so like every other Resident Evil. Gotcha. Oh! Well, yeah, <laughs> I mean... Yeah. Um, so, that's Resident Evil Revelations uh, 2, Episode 3. We're not going to talk a lot about it because we're kind of running behind, but um, you can get all the episodes plus two extra bonus ones for 25 bucks. so if you're into this, I mean, I would advise going that way because otherwise you're going to spend, like, you know... 24 25 bucks anyway plus tax and you know you're not gonna get those extra episodes so um all right couple more games here and then we're out of here um jet jet car stunts now i <laughs> i saw this come up today on the store and i'm just like and i saw turtle bought it um it's only yeah. five dollars and it's basically just you know racing on a track right turtle and pretty blocky nonetheless colorful graphics right turtle yeah, you have like this big rocket on the back of your car, so you can use like the right trigger to use the rocket to kind of like launch yourself in different directions. Gotcha. Yeah. But, I mean, it's a very challenging game. Like, if you're looking for a challenge and this is only $5, I'd say go for it. It's, I mean, it has frame rate issues, so that kind of ruins it a little. Yeah. But, 
if you want a challenge, then get it for only five dollars. Like, I mean, it's five bucks. Yeah. Small developer, yeah. I'm guessing. I mean, just from the looks of it, no offense um, to whoever developed this, but um, I mean, congrats for getting your game on the Xbox One. And I mean, it's simple. It's five bucks. I mean, if you're into it and you need something just to like you know hold you over, but just check it out because. Turtle's been having some fun with it, even though it's got, had some frame rate issues. So, right, Turtle? Yeah. So, yeah. All right, that's Jet Car Stunts. Um, last game we're going to talk about the release, and we're not even going to talk about it a lot in detail until we go over the interview that I did with um, Team Seventeen. Um, this is L.A. Cops. Um, this came out today as well on Friday the thirteenth. Uh, Fifteen dollars. Um, published by Team Seventeen. So. You know them, Worms from Worms, and um, they're publishing quite a few indies this year. So, look out for them getting into the public publishing scene and uh, bringing these small guys to the forefront. But um, Team Seventeen is, uh, I mean, LA Cops rather, is a lot like uh, Hotline Miami. Um, so over the head isometric view. Um, you clear out these like buildings with your two cops and. Um, it's like a twin stick shooter for, for a little bit. You can use a lock on kind of mechanic to shoot instead of the twin stick. You control your other uh, cop and stuff. So, um, so yeah. So in the chat, yeah, you guys, you guys got it. Hotline Miami on Xbox is Dark Lurker. Uh, the Jizzle says looks like Postal. Yeah, it does look like Postal actually. You guys remember Postal? Mm. You got, a couple of you guys no. might be too young for that. Turtle, no, you remember? I, I never played it, but I've seen it. I know what it is. Oh, it was awesome. Dude, it, it was, was awesome. It was fun. I mean, it got banned, but like... <laughs> it was uh, on Steam. Oh, is it back on Steam? Yeah, it's oh, I thought on that Steam. Got, I thought that got banned. I, I thought was... Postal 3 was the one that got banned like in oh, Russia. Oh, really? Okay. Oh. Maybe. Well, maybe over there, but it's on Steam. Like, I think all three of them were on Steam. Um. Yeah, OG Link, you heard this was good. Yeah, I played it at PAX. Um, I'm going to have our interview we did with Team 17 about this game. Um, on uh, on our YouTube channel in the next couple days, so um, look out for that because you see more of the game in action and get to talk with the uh, publishers about it. So uh, I got to see me talk with the publishers rather, um, and hopefully we can have these guys on the show so we can talk about it a little bit more. But this game looks fun; it plays really well. Um, so yeah, LA cops, you guys, you guys uh, like this one or no? I've got it downloaded, but I haven't started it up yet. Oh, Turtle, stream it for us, man. Yeah, stream it yeah, for us. I will later. definitely be streaming it later. Probably tomorrow. Alright, yeah, so, guys, check out his stream. Little Turtle Boy 9415. Check it out. He'll be streaming LA Cops. His stream quality has been insane, too, with the Elgato capture card he's gotten lately. Oh, wow, dude. The Elgato HD60. Yeah, I've been That's going cool. through some upgrades. Yeah, dude, that thing's insane. Um, yeah, so stream it at 60 frames a second, Turtle. This thing runs at 60, so it'll look gorgeous. Yeah. Alright, last but not least, we'll quickly get out of here with Deals with Gold. Uh, there they are. I'm not going to list every one. Um, you guys can see them if you're watching the, uh, the video. Otherwise, we're just going to give our, uh, our favorites, I think. So, I'll start first with what I think is the best deal. Um... What is the best deal and what I think would be the best deal for what I actually want to buy are different. Um, what I think is the best deal is Dragon Age at $36 just because that was Game of the Year and it's 40% off. That was Game of the Year 2014, so that's probably the best deal. But what I think is the best deal, it, fun-wise, would be Rise, Son of Rome, Legendary Edition for $30. So you get the game, which is very underrated, um, and the graphics are insane on it, um, and you get all the DLC. For thirty bucks, so I mean, I'm definitely gonna pick that up. But uh, what do you guys think about the deals with gold this week? What do you think's the best one? I think the best one is probably Tomb Raider. Yeah, you know, I was thinking that, but I mean, I'm not going by price. I'm, I mean, yeah, the price for thirteen dollars, like that, is a great game. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Um. Assassin of Clans, best best deals with gold, you think? Um definitely Tomb Raider. Wow guys. Oh really? uh, no, no. I was <laughs> no, absolutely not. After PS1, Tomb Raider got old. Um I just want to say Dragon Age. I 
there's two in there, man. There's Dragon Age, which is really good, especially if you love Skyrim. I mean, it's like the closest thing you're going to get Xbox One right now. Yep. Um, the other thing I, I want to say is, like, Murdered Soul Suspect. Um, surprisingly, I love the story in it. I mean, the graphics aren't the greatest, and there's some glitches and bugs here and there. Like, I fell through the map, and that thing got, like, 600 views on the Xbox One. But other than that, it's a great game. All right, so those are our picks. The chat says Tomb Raider. Um, Jizzle says Tomb Raider, no doubt. You don't even like the game. Yeah, the game's good. I can't deny it. The game's good. Murdered Soul sucks, but it is interesting. Um, I don't know about 1650 worth for me. The, um, s- the story will suck you in. I mean, what? once you get past the graphics not being like the latest and greatest out there, especially for Xbox One, the story is what really sucks you in. That game's in my library, so I think I'm going to take that out because I do want to play that. The story does look good, but I'm sticking to my Rise, man. Rise is awesome. All right, so that's it. Let's give away that last code really quick, and then we'll get out of here. I can't believe how much over this went. Honestly, I'm, I'm going to write up the notes next week, and I'm going to just eliminate one whole topic, and then we'll be on time. Um, here we go. Here's the draw, and of course... The winner is uh, Dark Lurker twenty three, so you won a uh, a Smite Alpha code. I will send that to you in your Twitch inbox right after the show. Um, but yeah, otherwise, guys, I got one thing. Oh, Assassin's got something. Assassin's got one uh, real quick. I know Call of Duty's getting old and boring and crappy and whatever. But there's a petition going out to bring Modern Warfare 2 to next-gen systems. You're dreaming. That's never going to pass. It could. Who knows? But if, if you love that game, I know it was my first Call of Duty, and I loved it to death. Uh, go sign it. So here's what I'm going to say about Assassin's Petition idea. They love their fans so much that they listen to them during Ghost and during Advanced Warfare. That's yep, all I got to say. True. True. <laughs> Yep, dude, preach. Yep, dude, I'm telling you, it, that thing could get a million petition signatures. It's not going to happen, unfortunately. It probably won't happen, but I mean... I mean... If, if they I've don't been, listen to their their people that are actually playing the game and not these retarded, sorry, but esports people that are like 2% of the whole COD community, they're going to put themselves in like the gutter here. It's true. They they need to listen to s- at least someone that isn't esports. Yeah. Now I could see them remaking like a Treyarch Zombies trilogy, just the zombies portion of the Treyarch games, like World at War, uh, Black Ops One and Black Ops Two. I could see that happening. Yeah, dude. Black Ops Two. I you know, for as good as Modern Warfare Two was, I think more people were in in the Black Ops Two. I mean, I could be wrong about that, but. No, I, I had to say Black Ops 2 is my favorite. Just because of the zombie stuff, too, you know? But Modern Warfare 2, if you're just saying strictly, like, Deathmatch Online, nothing beats it for COD, I think. But overall game, probably Black Ops 2. Um, yeah, so that's it. We're done. Sorry, we went over a lot again. I apologize. I'm literally going to eliminate the topic next week. But we'll talk some more PAX East stuff next week. Go watch that interview. On our YouTube channel, Four Guys with Quarters. Um, you might have to put a space between the guys and the width. I don't know what the deal is with that. I'm looking to alleviate that, but um, that's our YouTube channel. Find us on our website. Reviews and news articles and awesome stuff Clowns has been doing with the site. Um, Four Guys with Quarters.com. Find us on Twitter. Hit us up. Follow us. 4GWQ Podcast is our handle. Um, then on YouTube, of course, for Facebook.com slash Four Guys with Quarters. And um, if you're listening to this and not watching, Four Guys with Quarters on Twitch is our name. And we broadcast every Thursday usually. This is a Friday episode, I know, but hopefully it's the last for a while. So, anyway, all right. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for checking I'll be it playing out. this. See you later, guys. Clowns will be playing some SNES on his USB enabled SNES controller. Um, but yeah, whoever won the giveaway, I'll give you the codes right after the show. I'll send them out right now. All right. So. Peace, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.